how's everybody doing tonight, guys? This is uh, Mr. Bird or Mr. E, that's my new name. I've conducted music, introducing to you the episode 1414 of Steam Corner. Today, tonight, we have a, another challenge presented by the Momokuri Project. So this is, uh, in case you haven't heard yet, is our half-term project. And uh, half-term means uh, between uh, February 15th and 19th. We're going to deliver one lesson every day, one slot at 9 o'clock, one slot at 1.30. And you can join us for just five pounds, guys. And uh, if you're interested in the tickets, here they are. Well, what is this about? Well, my two guests, Fabius guests and I, will guide you through three different disciplines. We'll bring them together and we'll create a phenomenal project. I'm talking about storytelling, I'm talking about music, and also about creative coding. So, the challenge for today is to live code a little game in example. So I'm going to show you what we've made, actually what uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Yoshikakura made, how to remake it, and obviously it's going to be quite quick because it's a challenge, but if you'd like to use this video as a tutorial, what I suggest is uh, click on that gear icon on the YouTube and then uh, slow down the video. You will probably hear me a little bit like that, but uh, uh, it should be quite uh, easy to follow. So I hope you'll enjoy this. And without further ado, I'm just going to introduce my colleagues in this adventure. So, Laura and Yui, you are live. Do you want to say hello, guys, before we get started? Hello, hello. hello. Hello, this is Yui. Ah, Laura is muted, I think. <laughs> I don't think we can hear you. <laughs> try now, try now. Oh dear. Hello, I'm Laura. I tell stories, usually when I'm not muted. And I am happy <laughs> to be here. I'm looking forward to watching some, uh, some coding happen and to uh, reliving the story of what you're going to be coding whilst you're coding. Wonderful, wonderful. And Yui, can you tell us a little bit about the game, the, the, the theme of the game of tonight? Hi, this is Yui. I made a video game about the Kanjincho, which is traditional story from ancient Japan about the gatekeeper at the Ataka area. That's it. The summarize right. story. Fabulous. So guys, in case you've got some questions, please drop them in the comments on uh, YouTube, on the YouTube comments below. If uh, you, um, if you're seeing us uh, in, uh, not in real time, we'll try to get to you as quickly as possible. Otherwise, uh, do drop us a line at info at conductivemusic.uk. So I think uh, it's time to start the challenge. So just in case you're a bit uh, wondering about what's happening in this game, Ha ha ha, there you go. Let me just put it full screen and uh, get playing a little bit. So there's that samurai jumping real high. And then unfortunately, me being very rubbish at avoiding those things underneath. That's how it's working at the moment. Okay. So I'm sure you've all been cut out from the internet and uh, on uh, Chrome seeing that uh, uh, little tiny T-Rex jumping the, the cacti that are coming at it. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. So um, I think we're going to get started immediately. We've got our clock running and uh, the idea is to create a new project. Uh, uh, Laura and Yui, are you still there? Feel free to interject at any time. Uh, with the comments and questions. Are you still there, guys? Okay, yes. Yeah? Fabulous, yeah. fabulous. All right, so um, first things first, you head on over to makecode.com or straight to arcade.makecode.com, which is here, and it's our platform of choice. Um, the game, obviously, is here, it's already finished, but I want to show you how feasible it is to put it all together. And uh, for the, uh, let's call it tonight's challenge, for those of you, maybe teachers and parents, uh, wondering how the course will work, well, there's going to be at least four of us teachers on board. One of our colleagues will be typing up all the instructions on the chat. That's because uh, we can help everybody um, with uh, instructions spoken, visuals, and also typed. Then 
you're gonna have three different teachers and we're just simply going to split the alphabet in three chunks something like a to f g to l and m to z something like that and uh, according to the name that you've got on zoom you will be able to ask as many questions as you want to those uh, teachers so at least four of us are present in the chat at all times no mics no comes from your end guys because of uh, safeguarding issues the sessions are recorded for legal purposes we're not currently able to disclose them we might be able to do something but please don't count on that some people have asked if they can jump between sessions um, obviously if you miss a session is not that nice I understand and uh, yes we will leave you in other sessions however they will not proceed at the same time so we strongly recommend that you do not change your session because we will not be able to give you individual help this is a class course this is not an individual course so if you change class that's your responsibility to catch up i'm afraid and this is just because different age groups uh, work at different speeds right and the code itself might change the music might change the story might be different so we cannot guarantee that you will find compatible core content in the other lessons all right so please try to stick to your timetable and also we we'll welcome you at any of those times so let's i think i'm talking too much let's uh let's zoom in a little bit and uh what's the first thing that i think that you think i should do miss what's the you first need thing to set the background i need to set the background okay so let me go and steal the background because i don't particularly uh excel in painting so to copy it look there is this uh um uh, sorry what, what's it called uh marquee tool and then you can uh, go and grab it copy sorry about the noise i'm gonna mute it now there we go and then uh, when we go and set up a scene and a background image too the pixel should be already set uh, 160 by 120 let me see if that works yeah so if I just paste Apple V, haha, ha, there you go, it's here. And uh, yeah, I did copy it a little bit smaller portion. So let's just refill it. And here's the background. Okie dokie. Then at the bottom of this, we had uh, some solid ground for the little guy to stand on. Okay, so I'm just going to make it from left to right, sorry, from right to left, because that was looking a little bit odd to me, if that's okay. So I'm just gonna create this uh, set tile map too. And uh, you see this one at the bottom, 16 by 16. I'm gonna change it to 10 by eight. And uh, Laura, can you guess why I'm gonna change it to 10 by eight? Why on earth am I doing this? Is that because that's what the size of the screen is? That's absolutely correct. Spot on, spot on. Thank you. And uh, so I'm going to fill it in. And you know what? This red overlay. What's the red overlay, Miss Yui? Can you explain it? That's the wall to make the your tile map solid. Fabulous. Oh, so if you don't use it, so if you don't use it, then your character can fall through the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Or, you know, the underworld. What, what's the name of the samurai once again, guys? Togashi. Eh, what? Togashi. T O G A S H I. Yes. Togashi. All right. Togashi the samurai. I'm going to. Oh, I see. He's facing that way, but I can. Uh, can I not uh, turn him around, the little guy? There we go. Yes, I can. Perfect. Uh, so let's go and grab it. This, by the way, guys, is a function that has been added uh, just recently because until a few weeks ago, you could not turn around and it would have been a massive pain. So here you go. Look, I'm pasting it in and then mirroring it so the little guy looks at the other side. Okay, perfect. Next thing, do, I, do you think I should be able to move or not? Yes. Yes, not now, which way? so far. Which way? Up and down. Up and down, yes, 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 that's correct. So I can obviously jump. And we need to simulate a little bit of a jumping effect. So first of all, let me place the guy uh, somewhere on the bottom left, yeah? And uh, let's see. Um, uh, Loro, do you want to guess some uh, coordinates for the bottom left? Where do you think that is? Okay, just give it a shot. Well, 
Uh, if I was doing maths, it would be uh, it would be a low number and another low number. So like like zero zero or one one. Let's try with one one. And let's take a look. Right. So the poor Togashi is stuck at the top of the tree. Oh, no. So why oh, is no. that, guys? So that's uh, the wrong. Is the wrong side? <laughs> yeah. No, no. The, 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 uh, yes. So the reason for this, guys, is because uh, zero zero in maths. You're right, Laura. It's uh, it's down here usually, but uh, in coding, well, actually in gaming, because the pixels are rendered from the top, zero zero is up here. So the columns start being counted from the top. So this is going to be zero, one, two, three, four. And then the rows are as you would expect them. So probably, I'm gonna just guess. It should be a five one. Let's see if it's true. He looks quite comfortable in the tree, though, don't you think? <laughs> it is. Sorry, sorry. I meant one five. <laughs> That's true. All right. Okay. So we've got the little guy there. Perfect. Okay. So that works. No problem. Now we want to be able to jump. So to jump, I'm gonna get a controller. Get my button A pressed. And uh, to jump, let's think, uh, what's, uh, uh, Miss Yui, what's the, f the acceleration that keeps us stuck to the ground? How do we call that? Can you remind us? V velocity. Yes, but the, it starts with a G, 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 the G. Gravity. gravity. It's the gravity. Well done. Well done. Or a jump. So, velocity, actually acceleration, is the block that uh, will help us create it. So let me explain what I'm doing because it's a little bit complicated. And when uh, things get complicated, you know what happens? My temple gets yellow. So here we go. This is a bit of a, a serious uh, moment. And uh, even the music stopped exactly at this stage. <laughs> it's perfect. So we want the um, gravity to push uh, what's his name? Togashi down towards the bottom. Okay, we want him to be pushed down 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 So it's gonna be an acceleration Y Okay, and uh, what number do you reckon I should put uh, Laura if I wanted to squash to the down to the ground? Uh, a really high number. Okay, for example uh, um, For 300 300 okay, let's give it a shot see what happens. Okay, that seems good. Seems to have worked. No problem. Really? If I'm wrong, <laughs> Let's if I'm see. wrong though, you can, always, you can always change it if you're wrong, can't you? Yes, we can change it. So for now, it looks good. Let's see, we'll discover it in a minute if it's working or not. So what we want to do is, when it comes to, um, uh, what's it called, uh, the jump, we have this force that is pushing us down. So if we want to jump, we want to be able to go the other way around, right? So I'm going to go and grab the velocity that Miss Yui, oh no, sorry, not change, set. Uh, the velocity that Miss Yui was mentioning just a few moments ago. So let's take a look. I'm going to get my velocity, okay? And in this case, I'm going to jump to a negative number. So I'm just going to put minus 100. Let me see how this works. You see that little guy is jumping? It's a little bit heavy. I think he's got a little bit too much uh, sushi, this guy. So actually, uh, is, uh, do samurais also eat chankonabe, miss, or not? Mm, maybe. Maybe. So chankonabe is what the sumo wrestlers eat in general. But uh, let's try. So I put it a little bit. Uh, that's it. That's it. I think that's just good. I will ah. just increase the acceleration just to make it a bit more realistic. And yes, Laura, you were asking something? Oh yeah, I was just wondering how he could jump higher, but you made him jump higher already. Yes. How come he can jump, he can jump and then while he's in the air, he can jump even more? Ah, yes, that's the double jump. So we need to make an if statement there, which I'm going to fix now, right? So before I jump onto that explanation, I just wanted to have a chat with the red people, the complicated stuff. So guys, 
we have two forces at play here. We have an acceleration going down, pushing us down towards the ground, and it's positive. Now, it's a bit counterintuitive because normally in maths, if a force is positive, if a, y, if, if a force on the y-axis is positive, we're going to be shooting up towards the sky. But remember that zero, zero is on the top left, not on the bottom. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. Second thing, when we jump, we set our velocity no longer to zero but to a negative number so minus 200 and for every frame that goes through an acceleration of 300 um, pixels per sec sorry 400 pixels per second gets um, added to it so in about half a second we come back to the ground so no we come back to the ground so we lose our speed if that makes sense. So 400 pixels per second, I am accelerate my, my velocity is minus 200. So to get to zero, I just need to get half a second. In the other half a second, I get to 200. And in another half a second, I get to 400. So it's, it's quite quick deceleration. But uh, let's see what happens if I take away the wall, because you might say, well, the wall doesn't really do anything. Let's see, look at that. I'm just gonna rub out the wall from here. You see that? I've deleted the wall. Let's see what happens to poor Togashi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? It's it's falling through. Oh, he's gone you see he's that? gone to hell. He's gone to the underworld. It's going to the underworld indeed. So that's a bit of an issue there. So Can let you me get him the... back or do you have to make a new one? I need to make the new wall. So it's it's now back on track. Yeah. Oh, how come do you on. Get the... right. How do you get uh, Togashi back from the underworld though? Uh, you can't. <laughs> you need to code a different game. <laughs> he's 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 uh, he's in in the underworld forever. There's yes. a place. There's a place in um, in uh, samurai stories uh, called Warrior Hell, which yes. is where samurais go after they die, so to relive their final battle forever. Oh, and oh forever. my goodness! So that's where he's gone. All right. They all fall down. What's it called? Uh, Shurado. Shura. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. There's Ashura. So. <laughs> Let me see if There's this works. There, too, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see this one? I'm spamming the A button, but uh, I can only jump when I'm touching the floor. You see it? I can no longer fly. Makes sense? So here's the deal. This is the block that I've added. The if statement is something that says if something happens then do something else so i don't know laura can you give me an example just off the top of your head uh, can you give me an if statement something that says like if this is happening then do this if something else is happening then do something else um to do with the game i don't know no, to do with it whatever you want i'm back into the zoom we can see you now oh if i am um if i'm if i'm Eating dessert. Yes. Don't bring me a hot dog. Okay, that's good. Else. Uh, or um. We use the I word else. We use the word else. So if I'm eating dessert, bring me. Don't bring me a hot dog. Else, bring me a hot dog. Does it make sense? All right. Yeah. Okay. But uh, if my if uh, if my plate is empty, bring yes. me a hot dog. Okay, okay, okay. So in coding, we would call that uh, if I'm eating dessert, don't bring me a hot dog, then don't bring me a hot dog. Else, if my plate is empty, bring me a hot dog. Else, uh, get me a coffee. Does that make sense? So the first <laughs> statement is if, the second statement is else if, and the last statement is else. So that's the one that covers the last spot, okay? Uh, oh, then we've got, uh, there was a comment actually from Laura, it's now on the screen. Wow, there's lots of games already in Arcade. Yes, guys, if you want to know more about the platform, uh, uh, when you go to the arcade.mako.com, you can find lots of tutorials there, they're pretty nice. So, uh, please do enjoy those, they're very, very, very nice. So, I hope this one will make sense, it's a bit of a more difficult part. 
So let me just uh, jump into the yellow as always. So it's saying if Togashi is hitting the wall at the bottom, which means if the tile underneath Togashi is a wall, then you can jump. If not, there's nothing else. So I can only jump once I touch the wall. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah? Cool. Um, yeah. Fabulous. So I'm going to go. What should we do next, uh, Miss Yui? We should set up the Benke, the other. The bad guys. Bad. <laughs> bad guy, yeah, for Togashi. Yes. Okay, so. Yamabushi, this thing here? Yes. Okay, can I just ask, what is this uh, pink uh, Pac-Man looking thing? Pink Pac-Man looking things? Yes. Yeah. Extra? Maybe, I don't know, I'm just curious, it's fine. So anyways, so I'm just going to copy that. this uh, image here. And uh, we're going to transfer it to the other um, game. So. When something happens at regular times within a game, we use something that is called game update. So I'm a bit in the yellow because I want to talk a little bit about uh, 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 frames per second. That means how many pictures the computer can draw every second. If you've got a powerful machine, you might be able to reach even 120, 150 FPS. If it's a bit less, uh, it goes down. If you were one of those that was desperate uh, with Cyberpunk on a PS5, uh, well, that was a bit, uh, a, a bit um, unhelpfully low, let's call it, right? So the problem with the frames per second is that they do not happen at regular intervals because obviously if my computer goes at 100 and yours goes at 200 your game is going to be super fast it's going to be twice as fast as mine and uh, that's not usually a good sign because it might be that uh, you die immediately because it's just happening too fast in this case instead we've got a fixed time so it's 500 milliseconds once every half a second okay so i want to create a projectile from the side so here we go projectile from the side i'm gonna give it the picture that miss yui has designed i'm gonna flip it around so it comes from that side and i want it to come from left to right so miss yui can you give us a guess if i want it to go from left sorry from right to the left what should i put for vx and what should i put for vy VX0 and VY for 100 something, 150 or one point. Alright, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> right, um, I'm afraid we got something a little bit of a confusion here, guys. Physics uh, are going a little bit against us. Let's see what's wrong. So, just in case you don't notice, uh, the little little fella there is falling from the sky towards the bottom <laughs> and is not having a good time. So, here's what uh, we need to take oh. care of. VX is the horizon, uh, horizontal speed, right? So, it means from left to right. Now, in maths, if I want to go right, do I need a positive number or a negative number, uh, Laura? Imagine a chart. I want to go positive. a little bit to the right. I need a positive number. Perfect. In this case, I want it to go negative because I want it to come towards me. So I'm going to put it maybe minus 80 and then just not make it jump. We've also noticed that the poor... What's the name of this guy, miss? Yamabushi. Yamabushi. She. Is that meaning mountain something? Yamabushi is the mountain training monk. Oh, so Bushi is where the monks train. Ooh, yeah, kind of. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, cool, perfect. So, um, but let... It's a, yes. But it's actually someone, someone much more famous dressed up as a mountain priest. A mount, a mount, a Yamabushi mountain oh, priest. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, okay, okay. The, uh, the story of the story means that there's there's two very famous samurai dressed up as mountain priests. Yes. But they're not doing a very good job. So Togashi can see that he can't he should not let them through. But, <laughs> okay, fair enough. But uh, but yeah. Um we'll see whether he can whether he can um guard the gate or not, won't we? All right. Mm -hmm. 
Okie dokie, okie dokie. Oh la la, there's uh, quite a lot of uh, monsters coming through, so let me just uh, slow down the game a little bit, maybe once every second. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, that's not bad. All right, you see that? You see the game? I'm, be I'm able to go through. And at the moment, nothing is happening. So what do you think I should do next, uh, Miss Yui? What's missing in this game? Score. Some score. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So there are very many different ways to get a, a score running. Um, I'm just going to experiment with one thing that I was just thinking right now. So let's see. When... Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see if this one works. So what I'm thinking is um, when Yamabushi hits the wall on the left hand side, I wanted to um, count a point. So let's see if it works. You see these blocks here, it says on sprite of kind projectile hits wall at location. We want first of all to destroy that uh, sprite and this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not going to put any animation, but also I want to count some points, so I'm going to change my score by one. I'm not entirely sure if this works, but I'm uh, going to give it a shot. It's always nice encoding to try new ideas. Yes, you see the points on the bot top right? That's working. Six, seven, eight, nine, and so forth. Perfect. It's, it feels a bit of a cheat, isn't it? Because I can just sit there and those guys, they're just going through. So, Laura, what do you think I should do? Because uh, now they are just going past me. What, what, what should I do? The, something needs to happen if you touch them. Yes, 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 I think so. Um, maybe what, what do I do? What, what happens if I touch them? Either you can lose points or you can die. Um, I, think. <laughs> I think we should die. Yes, 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 yes. Good. So... Um, First of all, we need to set up a few lives. Go so, up, maybe. Sorry? Right. Sorry, sorry, what did or you say? Maybe uh, blow, up. blow up or... Oh, blow up. Oh, uh, okay. Transform we... into a hot dog or... Uh... <laughs> So that's pretty really cool. I'm a bit hungry. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, I'm not sure if we have time for that, but that's definitely possible. So let me set <laughs> lives. Let's say that we've got five lives to start with, yeah? So here's what happens. When that uh, Yamabushi guy uh, hits me, so that would be a projectile. When he hits me, the player, well, first of all, he gets destroyed because... Um, um, well, for, I cannot get destroyed, otherwise, you know, the player loses immediately. Uh, but the reason why he needs to be destroyed is because when we talk about touching to sprites, um, we consider touch as soon as we see them touch, right? But what you need to understand is that according to the computer, for as long as those overlap, they keep touching. So, in order to make you understand it, I'm just not going to use this block now. And uh, and show you what happens without it. I don't know if that made sense. This is a difficult concept. It took me a, a couple of times to uh, to understand it. So at the top of the screen now I've got five, right? So look what happens as soon as they hit me once. I'm dead. How come I lost five lives? Let's do it again. And a one, and a two, and as soon as they touch me, I lose all lives. And this is because when one sprite goes on top of the other, for as long as they are overlapping, and that will take a few frames, I lose uh, life for every frame. So this is uh -oh. the solution. As soon as I get touched, the guy needs to disappear. And maybe we can do it a bit dramatic with a little bit of fire. So let's check it now, let's see. So I'm jumping. One, two, I'm hit, I lose a life, jump, jump, I'm hit, I lose a life, and I hit, I lose a life, and that's it, okay? So, this was uh, quite quick. We didn't do much in terms of music, guys, because obviously 30 minutes, it's uh, very, very quick, obviously, but uh, I hope you enjoyed creating this uh, 
uh, to together with me today. So, Laura Nui, what do you think? What do you think about this? Uh, was it uh, understandable? Is it complicated? What do you think? It's quite fun and the it's design. It's hard at first, but it's really, yeah, it's really fun because you can take things away and put things back and try different stuff, and it doesn't ruin anything. Um, so you can just have fun with it. So oh yes, I uh, I feel good. Good, 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 good. Well, then, uh, Miss Yui, thank you for sharing this with us. It's great. Well, and I think uh, there is space to do one more for this to, to create the music, isn't it? Because in just half hour, we just made the mechanics. But uh, perhaps on the next episode, we could uh, compose with this. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you to my guests, Laura and Yui. I'll uh, bring you to the final screen. Thank you, guys. Have a lovely evening. All right, everybody. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you had uh, a lot of fun with this little coding adventure. So if you want to know more, don't forget that uh, between February 15 and 19, we are going all out for you guys. We've got five sessions once every day, 90 minutes. You can choose to join us at nine o'clock in the morning or 1.30 p.m. The tickets are only a fiver, five pounds for the entire week. So that's pretty much nothing. We've got our link here, momokuri.evenbright.co.uk. If you are in Cheshire East or in Central Bedfordshire, guys, the fabulous people at the Love Music Trust and Inspiring Music have sponsored the tickets for you. So you've got quite a lot of tickets available, but don't let them run out, okay? So please do get in contact with the Love Music Trust or your school if you're in Cheshire East. And same goes to Inspiring Music or your school if you're in Central Bedfordshire. So as for the voucher, they will be able to give it to you. That's, his, that's it from uh, Mr. E and Conducting Music. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Lovely to see you all. And uh, until the next, stay curious. All the best, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>